Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be setting the foundations for our Skyrise city, souping up our limestone generation and dabbling in steel production. That sounds like a bit of you. Stick around for the fun. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Today we have some big plans. If we recap from last time, we set up this sky tunnel, transporting coal all the way through. Got a little power plant up there. Now I haven't run the numbers. I don't know what our two pure coal nodes can actually produce power wise, but for now, this is producing 300 and that will do us. Now we want to set the foundation. That's what we talked about last time. We're going to build a city out of the center here, and we want to build the foundation firstly. So I have myself a whole heap of concrete. Let's get to work. Ooh, mama that's a lot of concrete now i've used everything i have I, I have nothing left no absolutely zero concrete left uh yeah we need to finish there's this big hole in here it's probably the same as what we've got maybe a little bit less just to fill up the hole man you see i connected it over to a little sky bridge x over there so everything's in line everything's got to be square and perfect can't have anything wonky around here now i've taken down the elevator um that is sitting in a box down there just waiting to be re-erected um we need more concrete we need so much more concrete so there's two nodes over there i'm gonna set them up but but we are gonna go next tier we need to go into hyperspeed and to do that we need to unlock the next hub milestone. Because we need this. The Miner MK2. Normal extraction rate of 120 resources per minute. That's at least going to double what we have. We need this. We need this in our life. We need it right now. So... I am going to get all the resources for this. I have actually set up offline some automation to receive those cubes. I can't remember what the cube is called. Pion. Yes. Modular frames. And we have some going. Now, it's not efficient at all. I'm just splitting stuff up out there. It's just a mess of spaghetti. Um, but we have some of those. So that's good. Uh, we need some of these. Ching! Check you in, check you in, check you in. Ding, ding, ding. Bang, bang, bang. Pukoof! All right. Steel production. Steel production unlocked. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna have to. We're gonna probably have to move this up. Yeah, because this guy's not gonna be able to fly through our floor. Hmm. Okay. Problem for later. I don't know if that's gonna mean we have to unlock all the tears again. I wouldn't have thought so, but who knows? All right. So that means, yes, we have minor MK2. Now <laughs> this actually requires steel stuff. Uh, okay. Steel needs iron and coal. Now we've got coal. We've got abundance of coal. Iron we, we have as well. So we need to set up something for steel real quick. So that we can get our miners going, so that we can get our concrete, so we can get our floor for the city. So many things to do, so little time. Oh baby, we have ourselves some steel production. Now, we have our two nodes coming up from here, running 120 in. We are splitting off the coal that we're getting in from our little truck station here, which I don't think I've shown you yet. I'll give you a tour in a second. And then it's going in completely inefficient, but I don't really care. 
producing, as you can see, the beams and the pipes. I can't remember the names of them, but we are getting steel. So in no time whatsoever, we will be able to upgrade our miners, upgrade our belts. We will be going Super Saiyan. Man, I love automation. <laughs> Factories. All right, let's let's take a little gander inside here for a second. It's nothing to look at. It's not very pretty. Got a lot of little windows, <laughs> conveyor belt holes, but I'm gonna call them windows. Kind of walk in. You got a little entrance way. I thought this was quite neat. It's just a uh, equipment workshop, but it's kind of like a little control center, a little thing. Like yeah, yeah, the cars will come on through. But you can see it's the same setup that we talked about, talked about last time. Got your two pickup trucks. Pickup depots. Trucks come down, drop them off, do a little loop. On the merry way. And as you can see, this design goes throughout the entire tunnel. Carrying a little bit of power through the middle here. Alright. This ensures that the trucks will always, 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 always be running. Because this is not hooked up to the city at all. This is self-sustaining. The city goes down. This plows on. Alright. Let's get back over to the steel. See how much we have. Fun fact. These little stackable conveyors have a ladder on the side. Hey! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I can't make that jump. Oh, don't, don't fall. <laughs> oh, I'm the best. Yeah, no, I'm terrible. And we have, ooh, baby. Oh, I can't even remember how much we needed, but that'll do. That will do. All right, we're here with our limestone generator, making our concrete. I have converted some of our beams into the industrial beams as you can see down there we need four per miner i'm planning on setting up three of these so i wonder if can you just highlight over the top no looks like we're gonna have to remove this so let's stop production for a second cut up bam give it to you let's chuck in the mk2 oh it's about the same size that is good to know uh yeah that's about lined All right, I don't know. <laughs> don't know if it looks any different. Uh, don't really care to be honest. Double. There we go. One twenty per minute. These things supply at forty-five per minute. It's kind of a bit weird number for lining up. So one twenty, forty-five. If we set up three of these, that'll be about forty in each. That will maximize the miner. And triple, almost triple, our supply per node. Yeah. Let's go and do that. I'm going to go and split this up, set up three of these, a couple more towers, and we should have concrete for days. So we can finish off our layer. Concrete for days. And we have upgraded our node. We are now getting 120 out splitting it up into 340 a piece producing 15 out running along top down storage i was getting a bit tired of climbing up to the top to get to get my concrete so now it funnels all the way down and you can see it starting to funnel in now for some reason my little spiral auto hookup thingy my wub that i had last time didn't want to do it it was kind of like figure of eating in amongst itself when i was trying to auto complete and it didn't really work so i've shoved up a conveyor tower on the side basically achieving the same thing i'm just forcing it through the tower and this is just me pulling it up so i can go in from the top so i can feed down instead of up so i'm gonna go set this up on the other two nodes on the other side there and by the time that's done, we should have maximum concrete. Woo, baby. 240 per minute. My God. Pure. Oh, we're going to be able to soup you up. 
Call me Harry Poggers because I am pogging magic everywhere. Now I figured out that this is 120 and this is producing 240. Together that makes 360. 360 divided by 45, which is what these produce or take to produce is a round eight. So all I needed to do was figure out how to take the input from this and the input from that and split it into eight. <laughs> Not as easy as it sounds. But I have gone and done it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit of a mess. Let's put it as and merges, but it works. It works. And I will show you how it works. So, 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 so. 120 from this one up into there splits into three. We already know this produces 40 into each, which means I need another 15 coming on into the system to make this perfect. So, first thing I needed to do was take the 240 out of here into a splitter. I need 15 this way. So I took the 240 coming in. I'm throwing 120 out here, 60 out here, 60 out here. And then I'm coming over here. I'm taking this 60 and making 30 out here and 30 out here. And then this 30... 15 this way, 15 this way, 15 over here, plus the 120, 135 divided by 3, 45 each. Woo! We have concrete production perfected. But that's not all. We, we, we still have to do all these other ones. So, we have 15 left from here, and we have 30 left from here. Put them together. What does it make? Uh, you guessed it. A 45. Another line. Off we go. Now, back to the start. We have our 60 line here, so we take the 60 line, we're splitting it up into two. We have a 30 line here and a 30 line here. This 30 we're splitting up into 15 here and 15 here. This 15 matches up with the 30. 45. Now we're up to one, two, three, four, five perfect 45 items conveyor belt lines. My god. But we're still not finished. We still need the others. So remember. We have 15 left over from here, it's traveling off this way. But we go back to the start, 120 coming this way. Splitting that up into 60 here and 60 here. Back to here, we got our 30. 30 this way, 30 this way. Oh my god, is that the 15 we had left over? Is that coming into this 30 and making 45? You bet your bottom dollar it is. Leaving a 60 line and a 30 line, which we are putting together again that's right we're not splitting up right now we're putting them together making 90 90 into a split divided by 2 is 45 and 45 ma 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 ladies and gentlemen we have pogged all over limestone we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Perfectly efficient Well, not, not not quite but not set up yet, but perfectly efficient Concrete production lines now Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I've been thinking it too and I'm praying to my lord and savior Mr. Mothman wherever he may be That we can have a line that's faster than 120 because right now the mk2s do 120 but we need 240 to come out of here if we can't get 240 on one line yeah we're in trouble we're in big trouble because this is going to be crap i'm wasting my time also over here this is 120 and this is 15 making 135 this also needs to be higher than an mk2 now i know that in the hub over there, there is another research to get MK3 conveyor belts. And I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm bent down on my knees. Please, let it carry 240. That is the obvious solution. I mean, it's gone from 60 to 120. Surely it should now go to 240. Making this and this perfect. 
So, hold on to your chairs, boys and girls. We are going to hope like hell that my theory is correct. Please, 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 please. 270. We are in business. We are in business. What the hell is this? Motors. I don't have no motors. What do you need for motor? We need rotors. Okay, we have those. Stator. Okay. Okay. Oh, steel pipe. How many how many do I do I need? I need 50. And how much I need a hundred of each of these, so I need a hundred stators, which means I need mm, 300 steel pipes. Okay, let's go see if we have a 300 steel pipes. Oh my goodness, you have been working over time? What is that, 500 and a bit? Oh, well, yeah, I, th I, th I think we have three. I think we have 300. Uh, okay, let's go and take 300 then. Uh, mm, considering it's going to be steel to create, to unlock the technology in the first place, I imagine that it's steel to produce the lines. So I'm going to take a couple extra of these. Just in case that's what we need. Hmm. Alright, let's go lock it out. And... 50! <laughs> we are in business. Alright, 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 alright. Logistics. Select milestone. 50 of those. 25 of those. That's quite a lot. Luckily, we're automating them. Maha. <laughs> Okay, we need cables and we need wires, so... Alright, this, 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 sand! Woo! Goodbye! Reached. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage... Thank you, Aider. Fly, my friend, fly! Be free! You. I'll never get old. That's that's just so cool, so so cool. And now we have convertible to Mark Three. I don't even know if it's Mark or Mac or MK. Eh, Mark Three. I'm gonna call it Mark Three because Mark Three sounds fast. Two seventy, and it does take steel. Good thing we picked some up on the way. Now let's go implement this into our limestone. <laughs> Look at the speed! Look at the speed! Whoa! My word, we can use that. Some sort of transportation. Do you see how fast I went? Can I run backwards on it? Nope. Nope. Alright, now I need to upgrade you to three. And turn you back on. Pew. Power. I want to do this again. Uh. Nope. Uh. Oh, there we go. Look at the speed. Now, we should be getting 45 in. This should always be running. <laughs> the speed! The speed! Go! Go! Meow! Phew! I'm a flying! <laughs> oh, this is so cool! As you can see, we are coming over to our main storage. Meow! And landed. Perfect 10 all around. I've upgraded all of these to this fast belt because why not? I want speed. Speed is cool. Yeah. Okay, we are full on the bottom. Eh. What about second one? Oh, look how fast that's coming in. 
Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 so. Concrete. Tick. Concrete sorted. Now, we need to finish our hole. This hole has got to go. So, let's uh, hop to it. Alrighty, and they have it. Look at this. Concrete for days. We have set the foundation. Now, you see there's a few holes. There's a miner sticking up here, so I'm thinking a building is going to have to be erected on top of that. It's going to be one of our, like, sort of tool rise buildings, so you can't see it. Um, this is how I've been getting up. Uh, there's a little ramp under there. We need to figure out a better way to get up to the, the top. There's a, an ore there. I don't know if you can stick a miner through, like, foundations or put it on and then put foundations. So I kind of just left it, but we'll see what happens there. Um, you see, I've I've put these foundations as f until they will physically no longer be seen. So this is all clipping into the ground. You can see it down here as well. It doesn't go anymore, but it kind of gives it that feeling that it doesn't just drop off to nowhere. It just goes straight into all the surrounding land. And eventually, this could probably push out all the way out here. This way is all kind of slightly lower now so it'd end up going forever taking over the whole biome which may not be a bad thing eventually but we'll see um i mean the world is massive so i mean depending on what they're going to keep adding this may just this whole biome may just be the metropolis of the map and then we end up setting stuff up everywhere else so who knows <laughs> who knows where this is going to take us but for now this will do um yeah and so also here like we kind of thought my beastie boy here needs to fly and so it needs to be in a hole um i'm thinking what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the hub up here hopefully i don't have to do the research all again and then i'm going to bring all the stuff that we have already under there just the storage of it up into a big long line um just so we can start when we start working we can just be up here we can have the hub up here we can have the crafter up here we can have all our stuff just kind of floating in up here and then what i really want to do is just start placing like elevated platforms around where buildings may be just to kind of give us a sense of how it's going to go but also i kind of want to have gaps for like roads we might just have cars going along. Maybe that's where they just come on in, bringing their stuff, and then they go down into the subway underneath, drop it all off. Um, I don't know. Ideas are just floating into my head left, right, and center right now, and I'm trying my best to collate them, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to go see if I can move that without consequence. Uh, not know it's possible, but we'll see. Move everything up here, get the storage going, and then we'll see where we're at. How high do you go? Ah! Oh my god! Oh no no no! Stop! 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Take two. We've opened a hole. Hopefully, we can get up there. Also, we've set up a little green swimming pool here. So maybe this is to help us when we drop down. We're not gonna not gonna die. So he goes nothing. Oh that's perfect. What about you? E Ooh. <laughs> That's so cool! Oh, all our Skyrise buildings. Yeah, yeah, you guessed it. We're gonna use these to get up. Oh, I gotta do that again. That that's so much fun. Meow. All right, the time has come. Oh, please. That's it. Okay, looks like I'm gonna get my parts back. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay, it went okay. Please let me have all my research when I come back. Oh, yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Live. Okay, I think I think I think everything's new, but yes, we have all our research. Purple shards. Ooh. <gasps> what are those? Sprint faster, jump higher, dampens impact of landing. What? MK2 poles? I didn't even know that was a thing. Quick wire? More inventory? Oh, we can we we can afford this. Oh, okay, okay, we we're getting those. Yeah, we can get this as well. Okay, let's let's finish off these in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. We need to just make sure that these all these arrows are fine. Nah, nah, nah. Whatever. What's up? Hi. Good. Okay. Well. Foundations have been set. Outlined a few sort of ideas for buildings. Um, there's some pretty decent size ones in there. So we'll be able to build some really good high rise factories um, within some of these buildings. And the other ones are just going to be kind of decorative. Fill out the city a bit more. Um, maybe we'll do something fancy with them. I don't know. Maybe we'll run conveyor belts through them to get to other factories. Uh, we'll see. But I think we are well on our way. It's uh, it, I'm excited. I'm re I'm actually really excited. This is gonna look really cool. I want to see what it's gonna look like when you kind of raise them up, get different levels, different heights, you know, different colors. I want to play around with that color gun. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I think it will turn out pretty cool. I'd like to be able to paint the floor like a black or something, just so it's all one color, so it's kind of like a road, you know. Um, I think that's going to do us for today so thank you for sticking around um if you enjoyed yourself please give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed yourself and want to see how we progress with the city plan then give that subscribe you'll get the notification and you'll come and see me for my next episode thank you have a good night bye <laughs>